Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use the stopwatch functionality on your Casio G-Shock GSG100 Module 5562 from Casio. This is better known as the Mudmaster. Now, I'm not going to have to do it in my video. The stopwatch is going to be involved in two subdials here, your left subdial and your bottom middle subdial. Sometimes your analog hands can be covering those subdials. So you might need to move them. I don't really need to, it's not gonna come into play with mine, but I did wanna show it just in case you're watching this video and you need to do it. If you press and hold the bottom left button for a couple of seconds in any mode, it doesn't have to be in the stopwatch mode, doesn't have to be in the timer mode uh, or the time mode, it will move your subdials so that they do not block your digital values. And that's gonna make it a little bit easier for you to use your stopwatch functionality, especially if you're gonna be using it for an extended period of time. So to get to the stopwatch from your main timekeeping mode, you're gonna simply press the mode button two times. The first time you press it, it's gonna take you to your world time mode. And then the second time you press it, it will take you to STW, which is your stopwatch mode. It's really pretty simple. Once you get in stopwatch mode, there's two buttons that are gonna come into play. The bottom right button is going to be your start, stop, and resume button. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this to start it. You'll notice that my stopwatch takes off as I mentioned before, there's two subdials that come into play. The left subdial is going to be your minutes and your seconds. The bottom subdial will be your hundredth of a second. You do not have to stay in stopwatch mode to use it, so you'll notice that my stopwatch is going. I can press the mode button, I can go to my timer mode, or I can go to my alarm mode. Go do whatever you want to do on the watch. When we go back to stopwatch, you'll see that it's still running in the background. Pretty similar to most other Casio watches. When we want to stop it, we can press the bottom right button. If we need to resume it, press it again. If you wanted to do a split time, you're going to press the top left button. And now you've got your split, and then you can release the split as well. While the stopwatch is stopped, if you press the top left button, that will reset you back to zero. Now, if you wanted to time multiple runners, you can time up to two different runners. I'll show you how to do that. You would want to start your stopwatch. Both of your runners are out there running. Let's say the first runner finishes. You're going to press the top left button to get your split. Now, once you see the split, you'll notice that the stopwatch has stopped and you're looking at the time from your first runner. Your second runner is still going though. Once your second runner finishes, you're gonna press the stop while you've got your split time being displayed. That'll stop the second runner. Now you've got your first runner's time. If you press the top left button, you can see your second runner's time. And then after you've seen your second runner's time, you can press it again and reset it back to zero. It's really simple stuff. If you've got any other Casio watches, you'll notice that the stopwatch basically works the same as it does on any of the other ones. Once you're done with your stopwatch mode, you would basically press the mode button a couple times, get back to your main timekeeping mode. When you want to release the hands, you'll notice I've got my hands that have been moved out of the way. Let's say I'm done with the stopwatch mode. I can press and hold the bottom left button for a couple seconds and my hands will move back to their normal timekeeping position. Anyway, that's a quick look at how to use the stopwatch mode on your Casio G-Shock Mudmaster. I hope the video helps.